Hey, welcome back my YouTube friends. Been taking a little YouTube break for a couple weeks and it's it's actually pretty nice. Uh, but one of my uh, subscribers uh, and one of my YouTube friends kind of messaged me on Facebook and you know he's a member of my Facebook group, Florida Boy Survival, which there's a link to down below and everyone is welcome to join my Facebook group. Get in a lot of pretty good discussions. And his name is George K. And George sent me out one of these. And this is the Mora Companion MGC, which means it's the carbon one. Take it out of here for you. All right. This is the nice Mora Companion. Uh, and this is my first experience with a Mora knife. See, it is the, I don't know whether you can see that, but it is the, it's the carbon, not the stainless. This is my first experience with a Mora knife. And it's really nifty. Uh, you know, sheath is nice. It feels nice in your hand. And it's extremely sharp. But, you know, doing a little bit of research on these, they uh, need to have a couple of modifications done. Like you need to flatten out the spine so that you can use a ferro rod with it because it's, it's kind of rounded over. Uh, and I see people making some really, really cool survival kits out of these and making them into survival knives. So, you know, what better to do on a really hot Saturday afternoon, and it is way too hot to go out in the woods, and we're expecting some big, mean thunderstorms later, but what better on a real hot Saturday afternoon than to work on a nice Mora knife survival kit. So, we got the Mora Companion carbon steel version, and we're gonna get going on that right now. All right, I'm just using a little file, you know, a set of these little files from Harbor Freight. We're just going to file her smooth. Okay, so now it's all it's all cut spines all nice and nice and flat and you can actually see it there's a little ridge of at least on the carbon steel ones there's a little ridge of black metal on this side and you, you just got to take that off because it, it kind of rounds over and it, it just it just won't scratch the it just won't scratch the ferro rod so what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna get me some some rubbing alcohol and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean off and degrease the blade and then uh, I'm gonna I'm going to put a little patina on it because, you know, it's this carbon steel, it's going to corrode and it'll even rust. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to pre-corrode pre it so that it doesn't rust on me. So now I'm just going to clean the blade off and we'll get rolling. I'm just going to let that dry. Okay, now we're all clean and shiny, and you got to be careful because that baby is sharp. Man, it's nice and shiny. All the fingerprints and, and residue from the ferro rod are off of there. Now we're going to ready to put a really complicated patina on this and finish. And we're going to use a really expensive secret ingredient, mustard. Watch this. This is going to be great. Let me get you a little closer here. Okay. Now, all we're going to do is, we're just going to take this, put a bunch of mustard on this blade, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to dab it with my finger, cover all the parts, even the top spine of where we just did it doesn't matter if it's kind of thick just put it on there okay then you can make some really cool kind of designs out of this if you want to I'm just gonna leave it on there really thick all right now I'm gonna turn this over and do the other side
just make sure you have all the surfaces coated. All right, now we're just going to prop this up on something. And we are just going to let this sit for about an hour. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so after the mustard, uh, I had to soak this thing in a little bit of vinegar and it's just regular old white vinegar and I soaked it in there for about an hour or so and now It came out. I don't know whether you can see it, but it's almost like olive drab green and it really matches it matches the, the handle really really nice and uh, It's really smooth. You know, you can see you can see a couple little little imperfections where the mustard got it there which just gives it a little bit of character Oh man, this thing's coming out nice. And before it was nice and shiny, now it's nice and olive drab green. So now uh, I think we're done with the knife part because now the spine is nice and square. It'll strike a fire steel really good. And I treated the blade, pre treated the blade. And now I think we're going to start working on the sheath. Okay, so the cool thing about these. Uh, these Mora's and these little Mora survival kits, if you're gonna make one up yourself using your Mora, is you can really put whatever you want to on the sheath. I mean, it's basically a, a, a blank canvas. So I think I'm gonna put a couple of uh, potable agua water tablets. So I got some uh, water tablets, and then I'm gonna put a fish hook with about 18 or 20 feet of uh, a fishing line, and I'm just gonna cover it over with some electrical tape, and then I'm gonna put the paracord over the outside of it and really wrap it up tight so then I'll have a little bit of fishing gear and I'll have some water purification gear right on my knife so let's do that okay so we're gonna start with the fish hook and what I got is a fish hook just under a piece of electrical tape and we're gonna put the fish hook on the front side not the back side right about in the middle of our sheath, okay? So now, a nice looking fish hook that'll hold it. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap the line around the sheath. So, here we go. Okay, now we get up to the end. We wanna end it all the way up at the end of our fishing line. Try to keep it tight. And we're going to just secure it with another piece of electrical tape. Okay. That's going to keep our that's going to keep our fishing line on there. Now you can see we got the hook, we got the fishing line. Now we're going to put these water tablets on with some more electrical tape. So here we go. We're just gonna just gonna kind of squeeze them on here. All right. Hey, that's looking pretty good, man. Got fish hook, got water purification tablets, got the knife, of course. Now we're going to do the paracord. Okay, so we got some paracord. We're going to start wrapping from the bottom where it's kind of thinner and go to the top where it's thicker because if it starts loosening up, it, it won't have any place to slide. So the first thing we're going to do is turn it over on the back and we're going to make a loop okay do it this way 
we're going to make a loop in our paracord. Okay, I'm just going to lay that paracord there. Make sure you got enough. And then we're going to start wrapping. Just wrap it over itself. Okay. Keep your loop straight. Now, we're going to continue this wrap all the way up. Okay, now we're all the way to the top. And you want to keep your thumb on it and keep that really tight. Here's our loop, okay? Now we're just going to take the end of the paracord, pass it through this loop, and we're going to pull that through itself. Come on, get in there. All right, there we go. All right, now. I don't like that. Now we're going to pull this end. <clears throat> and that's tight. Pull it so your <clears throat> loop is under the wraps. Okay. <clears throat> Man. And if you wrapped your paracord tight, that's, <laughs> I mean, it's not going to come out. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim the ends of this paracord off, uh, tighten a little knot here, and just trim it off and burn it. You know, tie a little knot, trim it off and burn it, and I'll be right back with the finished product. Okay, so here we got nice little rainy day project, uh, a Mora survival kit. You know, we've got our knife that we pre-aged with some mustard and some vinegar. It's still really, really sharp. We took a file and flattened the spine on the back so that we could strike it on a ferro rod. Then we took the sheath and put a fish hook and some fishing line and a couple of potable aqua uh, water tablets on there so we can get some nice fresh water. And we wrapped it all up tight with some paracord. This was a fun little project. Uh, you know, the only thing left maybe to uh, put a ranger band on the end of here just to give it a little bit of added retention and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ranger band and just slip it up through the, the belt loop and over the end. Now we got a ranger band on the end of the knife and it can't go anywhere. So if you have a more uh, more companion or another more knife or, or a knife similar to this this is a nice little project you should probably try it uh, and uh, I, I think you'll be happy with the results. So with my Morris Survival Kit, this is Matt, the old Florida boy, saying, I'll see you on the trail.